All right, let's do one more example. And this is the, that other case where you're given three sides. So here you have side length A is 20, side length B 14, and C is 13. So I'm going to create some random triangle, not going to be accurate. I can label any which way I want. So I purposely put B down there just so you can realize that it does not affect your answer. Um, the other thing I want to make clear is that these are not right triangles, so you can't use Pythagorean theorem. So don't do that. That's another common mistake. Okay, so across from big B is 14, across from big C is 13, and across from big A is 20. All right, it is solely up to you what you want to solve for first. Just because of the alphabet, I'm going to solve for angle A first. And if I do that, then I am forced to use this equation, a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2 times bc cosine a. So let's substitute in the values we have. So a is 20, b is 14, c is 13, minus 2 times 14 times 13 times cosine, I don't know, A. So remember, those aren't like terms, like we discussed the last video. So I'm going to combine what I can. 20 squared is 400. 14 squared plus 13 squared is 365 minus 2 times 14 times 13, 364 cosine A. Again, I'm going to reemphasize, they're not like terms, so I have to subtract 365. 400 take away 365 is 35. And then that equals negative 364 cosine A. Watch those negatives, okay? Um, and so now I'm just going to make sure, uh, there we go, we got a 35. So now I'm going to do, I have to divide both sides by negative 364. So I do 35 divided by negative 364. So I get negative 0. 0.5. Zero and so I could round to point 0.1 if you want. Again, it doesn't matter about rounding because it's just used for my paper. Just pay attention to instructions. So I'm going to put 0 0.096 just for more accuracy. Again, I introduced that approximately symbol since I rounded. So that's cosine A. Well, I want to isolate A and it's an angle, so that's why I use my inverse function. And I like to put my variable on the left side. So I'm going to push enter and I'm going to do function inverse of cosine. And I'm just going to put the answer. Or you could put the ratio, whatever you'd like. So A is about 95.52 degrees. All right. Well, we have one angle. So we need another one. Well, we're going to have to do law of cosines again because I started with law of cosines and just for consistency, I'm just going to stick with it. All right, so just going in order, I'm going to solve for B. So if I solve for B, I'm going to go all the way up here now. I'm going to change colors just so it's a little more readable. So it would be B squared equals A squared plus c squared minus 2ac cosine b. Now your formula gives, sorry, your book gives you a formula for solving for angles. The only reason I'm not giving that formula is because it's not on your reference sheet. So I just want to be consistent with what you're able to access when you take your exams. All right, so filling in, I get 14 squared 
equals 20 squared. My C is 13 squared minus 2 times 20 times 13. I ran out of space times cosine B. Okay, well, 14 squared is 196 equals 20 squared. Nope. <laughs> equals 20 squared plus 13 squared, 569, minus 2, I keep doing that, sorry, 2 times 20 times 13, 520 cosine b. Again, they're not like terms, so I'm going to take away 569 on both sides. So 196 minus 569 is going to go ahead and be negative, negative 373 equals negative 520 cosine b. Watch those negatives. I have to divide by negative 520. So divide answer by negative 520. So I get a positive. Let's go ahead and just block that out. So I get 0 0.72. Again, I'm just rounding on my paper. Is approximately cosine b. But I have to solve for the angle, so that's why I'm going to bring in the inverse function. So B is approximately, and what I'm going to do once again, inverse, I'm going to put the entire answer in there. So I get 44.17 degrees. And what we can do to solve for that last angle is the fact that our triangle has to add up to 180. So our last angle is C, 180 degrees. Take away that first one we found, which is 95.52 degrees. Take away 44.17 degrees. So in order for this to not be terribly off, I'm going to do 180 take away. Now if I go up here, again, your answer, you could be, wouldn't even affect it, but you see how I highlighted that? I'm going to put in that entire thing. I just really want to get you into good habits, especially if you're going into engineering. Accuracy is terribly important. 3, 7, minus, and then I can just put answer here, which is nice. So I get 40.3 one degrees and again I don't have to box off anything because you will be turning your work here and there with these problems this is really easy to read I mean of course I'm using different colors you don't have to use that but if you want a box you can um, but we try to encourage you not so it encourages you to be more uh, organized okay